Hi guys, Tim here doing another uh, military, um, not really review, but a talk. So I'll be talking to you guys about uh, the difference between a grenadier and a fusilier. And now, um, so for, I'll just get started. Um, now, firstly, a fusilier. Now, a fusilier um, is like your regular infantryman, in a way, but fusilier uh, kind of means, it's French for kind of fuse. Um, like a flintlock musket's fuse, that type, uh, you know, fuse a leer. Um, so it was really, uh, when the brown best was adopted in roughly, say, there's a lot of different sources between when they were published, when, you know, when it was, um, when it was uh, in the military service. So I would say 1722. Uh, or say 1725, say that, um, and of course it fired the, the what is the um, 60 caliber lead musket ball. There, well, a now this is actually French lead musket ball, um, but same thing, musket ball still. And uh, now the fusiliers were the first people, first kind of first regiments to get. They would be called fusiliers because it would be the first regiment to ever get um, the new high-tech at the time Brown Bess musket you know that flip the musket so Fusiliers is for the person um, a Fusilier is the name of a person who would first get the new flintlock musket called the Brown Bess and the time was very high-tech so that's a Fusilier now Grenadier uh, you can associate with um, <coughs> with um, infantrymen guarding a um, artillery battery or gun. Um, so that's kind of what they're known to be. But in another word, which I've always used this to be, grenadier means um, kind of is grenade in French, really, grenadier. Um, so you can tell the difference between a grenadier and a fusilier. It's because a grenadier um, is going to have a sling on their musket. Yep, the regular fusiliers or infantrymen, uh, pardon me, never actually had um, slings on their brown vests. It's only um, grenadiers because. Um, normally, because well, usually they would have a big sack on the side full of, you guessed it, grenades, and they were kind of massive. Kind, of, they were kind of like cannonballs with a wick on the side. We like the wick; it's got powder inside, and you throw it like a, you know, way like an, like a, a modern ish grenade um, so yeah um, so that's really the difference between a grenadier and a uh, fusilier nowadays you can get kind of grenadiers in the form of grenadier guards uh, fusiliers you can they're not really called fusiliers nowadays but during the first second world war era you get you know welsh fusiliers uh, munstered fusiliers which in irish uh, regiment you get the fusiliers things like that you know so yeah, that's a between that's been a little quick uh, military talk between how you can kind of tell the difference between a um, a fusilier or a grenadier. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya and bye.